So the Las Vegas Raiders absolutely suck right now, and all of us fans should just sell all of our season tickets and boycott even going to the stadium, not even buying anybody's not even buying Raiders merchandise, just to send a message to Mark Davis, Tom Brady, and Tom Telesco that we are unhappy with the product that has been put out on the field. That being said, what could they do in order to appease us fans? Well, bring in DK Metcalf from the Seattle Seahawks. Yes, I said it. Bring in the 26-year-old, 6'4", 235-pound wide receiver who runs a 4 3 3 40. Yes, 6'4", 235 pounds, and he runs a 4 3 3 40. There were hopes that DK Metcalf would be the Megatron 2.0. He hasn't quite turned out that way, but he is still an absolute beast out there on the field that all defenses have to take account for. But how and why would the Seattle Seahawks ever get rid of an absolute athletic freak like DK Metcalf? Well, why DK Metcalf could end up being traded and why the Raiders should be one of the teams who are making calls to the Seattle Seahawks right now. As has been reported in the Washington newspaper, that is Washington State, uh, DK Metcalf is being shopped right now by the Seattle Seahawks as the, trade date, as the trade deadline approaches. And multiple teams have inquired about acquiring this young standout who is only 26 years old and in the prime of his career, he will only continue to put up better numbers. In fact, this guy has never put up less than 900 yards two times in his season, and every time since then, he's put up over a 1,000 yards. He's a two-time pro bowler and an absolute beast on the field that is pretty much unstoppable. And here's the great thing about DK Metcalf. Let's go over some of his positives before we go over some of the negatives and why the Seattle Seahawks are shopping him right now. Number one, DK Metcalf, his length and his size make him a mismatch for any corner in the NFL. Nobody can guard this guy as far as their size. He's six foot four. He has an amazing wingspan. He can get every jump ball that you throw at him, and nobody's going to have a chance to contest that. Number two is his speed. His raw outlandish out of this world speed for a man that size, again, makes him have that over the top. He can take the top off of any defense at any given time and makes him a real deep threat. Number three is his physicality. At 235 pounds, this dude looks like Mr. Universe bodybuilder, but it's not all just a bunch of pump and fluff. This dude is absolutely a monster out there. He is probably the strongest wide receiver to ever exist and play the game of football. And that makes him, yet again, an absolute mismatch for any defense out there. He also is ultra competitive. He is a fireball. And this is one of his good traits. He's going to fire up your team. But it can also be one of his bad traits. And we're going to get into that. So with that being said, let's jump into some of the negatives of DK Metcalf and why the Seattle Seahawks are even shopping him in the first place. The biggest reason is simply that DK Metcalf has a very fireball type of attitude. And that is a good thing, but also a bad thing. Because DK Metcalf is one of the most penalized wide receivers in the NFL. This guy likes to fight, and he likes to fight a lot. He continuously gets into fight with cornerbacks, safeties, linebackers, linemen, pretty much anybody that is opposition to him, and if even, even possibly on his own team. DK Metcalf is one of those dudes who simply doesn't take any talk, who simply cannot take any crap talking without getting into an emotional outburst and throwing punches. He loves to grab people by the face mask and just whiplash them around, again, because he's so strong. He is bigger than all of the safeties and corners around him. And this causes penalties. This causes him to get thrown out of games. This causes a lot of anxiety for the coaching staff who don't know how to deal with a guy who is so impactful on the offense, but also in a bad way. Now, this isn't the only reason why the Seattle Seahawks are shopping DK, but it's one of the main reasons. 
Also, just because they're pretty loaded at wide receiver and DK has kind of become second fiddle and he's also had some drop issues, particularly this year. And even though his numbers are still good and he's still on track to hit a thousand receiving yards if he finishes out the season with Seattle, he has had some big time drops that have cost Seattle in big time plays of their games. That combined with his emotional outbursts, his penalties, costing his team over and over and over again, and the friction between him and the coaching staff and them not knowing how to handle him has led the Seattle Seahawks into a position of just deciding to possibly move on for him if the deal is right. So with that being said, what would entice the Seattle Seahawks to move on from him? And remember, he's still under contract through 2025. So the Raiders, if we were to get him, we'd get him for this year and next year, which would give us time to one, evaluate how he's going to do with the team. And number two, to see if DK Metcalf can be extended for a longer period, because after the 2025 season, he'll only be 27. So the Raiders could give him another three year extension, pushing him into the 30 year old range and he would still be absolutely dominant in the NFL. As long as you can get his emotional outbursts and penalties in check, DK Metcalf would be your automatic wide receiver number one, and this would seriously add benefit to the Raiders offense because, again, the guy's just unstoppable. And here's another thing that I wanna talk about with DK Metcalf that a lot of people are not talking about. Right now, he's a wide receiver. But DK Metcalf is, again, he is the size of Brock Bowers. He is 235 pounds and six foot four, almost the exact same measurements as our star Brock Bowers. So, could you imagine, say, you use him for three years as your wide receiver number one, but as his abilities start to decline at age 30 as a wide receiver, this is when you transition him over to tight end because he will still have probably at that point a 4440 and still be 235 pounds and six foot four with amazing hands, route running, everything that you want and the physicality of a tight end. So this dude could literally have a Hall of Fame style career as a wide receiver and then play for probably another three or four years as a tight end and possibly end up getting two gold jackets in the Hall of Fame if the Raiders can get a real quarterback to get him the ball consistently and win games and championships. This is why the Raiders should absolutely make a move to get a proven winning wide receiver number one who is an absolute physical Freak, there is no one, no one in college football that matches the physicality of DK Metcalf that we could go and draft in probably the next four or five years. There is nobody in the NFL like DK Metcalf. He is a unicorn. He is a one of one, just like Megatron was.